hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to add a row to another table from an enum list so in this example i have this two table which is the job and then the task so what i would like to do is whenever i created a job and assigned to someone and i selected the task let's say i selected three tasks once i save i would like this three tasks to add in this table so there are three tasks there so I would like to add three rows in this in this table all right and the the task as you can see the task it's coming from a reference type which is task reference so these are the drop down selection that I have all right so let me show you how to do this let me delete the example Alright, so the first thing we need to do is to review the table. So this is the table that we would like to have an enum list. And based on the selection, we would like to add in this table task. So in this table, the task column, you need to make it as enum list. And then I added here our base type, which is reference. And the reference is the task ref. And I added a data validation here. This is to create a drop-down list order by so the task ID or the task ref ID. So we're gonna order it by by the task name in alphabetical. Alright, let's say first. Alright, so since we are done reviewing our table, let's create our first action first. Alright, so new action. I'm going to name this add task. So in add task, for the record of this table, we need to select our reference. So our task reference is task ref and select add new row to another table using the values of this row and which table would you like to add? So we are going to add a row to a task table. So do not do, do not display. Alright, so here the first thing we need to do is to assign the column values. So let's say I'm going to have the status, going to have the ID, and we're going to have the job ID. Alright, so let I will discuss to you later on what is the job ID. So job ID basically, uh, so this is the table job and the task, there's a job ID here. So we are going to connect the task table using the job ID. So for the meantime, I'm going to remove this and discuss to you later on. So for the ID, uh, we have to assign a value. So in the ID, so we just put here as a unique ID. So this is the key column actually in the task table, as you can see, ID. All right. Then for the status, let's say I'm going just to use pending then for the ID uh, for the task we're going to use a formula as you can see here in the task I mean the job there's what we call task here so we're going just to use this is a ref a, a reference type so we're going to use the ID only and do not display so make sure the task table here that we're going to copy the the task the task is a reference type and it's referencing to the task reference once you're done for that so we already created the first action the add task then we need to trigger this action as well so we are triggering this in the job table so we are, since we are triggering this in this table so we are going to select the execute an action to so the set of rows so this one trigger trigger add task which table so task reference and the action that we just recently created add task so over here uh, so this is the table task ref so we, we're gonna construct an expression here which is select what the task reference what is the what is the key column in task reference it's an ID then 
we're gonna use in the reason why we're gonna use in here so when you're going to add a job there is a task so whatever user selected in this column inside inside of that column so in ID this row dot task all right then then just do not display then uh, we have two ways to trigger this task I mean this action the trigger task it's either by automation or it's in by form save so in this example I'm going to trigger this in the form save so here trigger task trigger add task and save so now let's try if this add a row to another table let's see so for example here let's say I'm going just to select three it should add three rows let's wait as you can see it add three rows All right so let's try another one let's say I'm going to select all of this so this will be six rows so this is the task table as you can see it's adding as well so now uh, what we will do in order to connect this job this job ID into this task so as you can see here uh, the next thing I would like is whenever I click this in the inline view I can see all tasks which is assigned to this person with the reference of the job ID all right so in order to do that let's delete this and I'll show you how to do that we have to create an action and to copy the job ID to another table so I created a table here called job ID so this is a temporary table that whenever we are creating a job here if you are creating a job it copies the job ID to this table all right so I already added that in, in app sheet which is uh, as you can see the job ID is composed of one column only which is the job ID and let's create an action new action so this will be copy job ID and add new row to another table and this will be the job ID and here we're gonna just select the job ID and do not display all right then once you're done for that you can insert we can create a, an action here in the trigger no not in trigger task in the add task so we can insert here a uh, job ID all right so we need to know the highest job ID or the highest row in this table so what we're gonna do we can just use any select so we're gonna select the job ID so job ID then job ID is equals to max row so we need to need, we need to know the max row what is the table name the table name is job ID so we need to know the maximum row number all right then save So now let's try if we're going to to connect the job whenever we add it uh, if we're going to connect the task to the job so let's try let's say this let's say I'm going to select six of this and save as you can see 
let's go back here let's see if the job is created oh no it's not yet created because we need to create first an action all right sorry for that <laughs> all right so here we're gonna create a group action so in this time we're gonna combine the action so let's select group execute sequence so the first thing is we need to copy the job ID then trigger the add task do not display and now we are going to change the job form save behavior to group action let's save I'm going to delete this again all right let's try let's try one more time all right so I'm creating a job I assigned to John for example and let's say I selected three uh, four tasks so there should be four rows to be added in the task table and save going back there let's review okay as you can see it should add four rows here as you can see the job ID is the same with this so in this way if you go into the app sheet you can see that uh, here we can add an inline views so to add an inline views all you have to do is go to the job since this uh, job and task is connected by a job ID I can just uh, add a virtual column here let's say task related and then I can just use filter expression so I'm gonna filter the task okay and job ID is equals to this row the job ID all right and this should be a reference type this will be a list and the reference is ref and the table is task so we're gonna say then save and now over here as you can see here so let's try another one let's say assign to mark let's say I'm going to select all the tasks so there are six tasks so there will be six rows to be added once you save here as you can see you can see all the tasks here which is related and also it adds a row here in the task table and as well it it add rows to to the job so we don't need to record the job ID here so all we have to do is is we can add an an action so let's say new action and this is to delete the once it's copied here we, we want to delete because we don't want to have a record for that so here delete job ID so here since we're triggering this in the job select execute an action reference the job ID reference is delete can you select job ID this row that job ID job ID is equals to this row that job ID and make sure in the delete section behavior section for the job ID where's the job ID here so make sure no needs con uh, you need to turn off the confirmation then you can add this in the group action here you can insert it in the last one delete job ID so the purpose of this once you add the job so first action is to add a row to a job ID then add the task then delete that one so I will show you the how it works so I'll, let me try to delete this okay all right let's add a job 
Okay. So let's say I'm assigned to Carl and I created six tasks. And then once I save, in the DV, you see it's adding a job. Job ID. It's it's it will add the task once the six task is added. Okay, it will delete it, it will delete the job ID as you can see. And then going back to the app sheet, you have this. You did you just need, don't need to display this. Okay, so we have here delete. All right. So that's the sequence we created. So let's try another one. And it's connected by this. All right. So I'm going to add a job. I will assign to Jones, for example. I'm going to add, let's say, four tasks. So it will add four rows. And then, as you can see here, it will add the job ID. And then, second step, it will add a task, four tasks, one, two, three, four. Then, it will delete the job ID. And that's it. So, that's how you're going to add a rows to another table from an enum list. So, if you learned something in this video, uh, don't forget to subscribe or comment if you, or if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video.